Welcome everybody. This is a live stream with Sunrise Integration in a Big Commerce series. Today we're going to talk about adding products to your Big Commerce store. Thank you so much for being here live with us today. Um, I see we've got a few viewers here and I would love to welcome you to be active in the live chat today. Um, please feel free to drop your questions in there. I'll stop about halfway through to make sure if you have any questions we can get to those. Um, but please feel free to jump in whenever you're curious about something. Um, but let's start with the tutorial. So we're gonna jump into a big commerce sandbox store. Um, and Big Commerce is great because when you set up a sandbox store, they will already have a bunch of demo products ready for you. Um, so we can take a quick spin through what a Big Commerce store would look like. You can see some of the features um, that Big Commerce already has for you with your demo products. Um, so that's really awesome. But today we're going to go through adding a product. And there's a lot of ways to add products. You can bulk import products using a CSV spreadsheet. Um, you can use their API, but today we're gonna use the dashboard and add a single product because I can show you all of the customizations and details that BigCommerce has set up for us. So let's start with the simple things. Let's name our product. So today I'm going to add a bar of soap. And they have SKU number here, so you can add your SKU number. I'm just going to do ABC123. Um, this is a physical product type, but you can also have digital products, which is great. Um, we can add our price here. Um, we can add a brand, which is really great if you have multiple brands and you want that to be a filter option for your customers or something that they can search for, you can add brand here. And then you can add the weight for your product, which is really important for calculating shipping costs. Um, so I'm going to add my weight here. Awesome. Next, Sunrise Integration B2B Edition categories. So Big Commerce has all of these categories for you. And you want to add your product to the categories you want it to you know, be in navigation. So I'm going to add my bar of soap to bath, of course, and then also shop all um, so that my bar of soap is available there. Next, you can add your description for your product. So I'll go a delicious scented bar of soap here. And this is where you can add a bunch more descriptive words about your product, um, maybe what fabric content, you know, those kinds of things. Um, next, we can add an image or video for our product, which is really awesome. You can either add from a URL, which is great if you are adding a YouTube video for your product or if you're hosting your images somewhere. Um, today, I'm just gonna upload an image from my computer. So let's find our bar of soap here, and we're going to add that. And when you add your image, BigCommerce has an option to add image alt text, which is super important for the accessibility um, rating of your website. So you definitely wanna add that. I'm just gonna add bar of soap image here. Awesome. You can also drag and drop your images. I'm just gonna add the one today, but you can add as many as you'd like, of course. Next, you have product identifiers. So we've already added in our SKU, which BigCommerce dropped right here, um, but they have a bunch of options. If you have UPC codes for scanning, bin numbers, manufacturer part numbers, you know, they really have all of the options here for you um, and for big e-commerce stores. So this is really great. And then we have our pricing here. Again, Big Commerce dropped our price in here, but they have even more customizations for tax classification as well as tax provider tax codes. So when you get you know, really detailed into your product taxes, you can add those here. Um, they also have some more advanced pricing options. So if you are doing a wholesale product, you can add the MSRP as well as the full sale price and the cost of the product. Um, and you can even add bulk pricing. So this is again really great if you are sh like sending wholesale um, and offering wholesale items. You can create a minimum quantity for your orders. You can add a discount on the quantity bulk order as well as you know affecting your unit price. Um, so this is all super awesome advanced pricing options for you. Today I'm just going to keep mine at a default price of $5. 
All right, next we come to inventory tracking. The default is that this is set to off, but I highly recommend turning on inventory tracking. That way you don't oversell a product. This is going to make sure that you're only selling as many as you have in stock. So if I have 10 in stock, that's all I can sell, and then it'll default turn it off from your site. And there are settings for that as well. And low stock, you can create a notification to alert you when you are low in stock so you know to start making more. Um, so I'm gonna put my low stock at two. Next, we're gonna come to product options and variations. So let's add a variation option for my bar of soap. There's a few ways that you can add variation options from check boxes to drop downs. So I'm gonna add a drop down today and I'm gonna make it be scent. And I'm gonna make it a drop down. And let's see, my first scent is gonna be strawberry. And then I can add another value. Maybe I have a pine scent and a spa scent. Perfect, I'm gonna make strawberry my default. So we can save those variants. And when you come back here, you will now see your variants in this table here. Now we did set inventory, inventory tracking on the product level before, but I'm gonna change that to variant level. And this is a really great option because you will have different stock per variant. So we can actually control that here now. So I'm gonna say I have five in stock for my strawberry, three in stock for my pine, and two in stock for my spa. And I'm gonna keep my low stock notification at two for these. Let's see, that one went to zero. There we go. Awesome. And you can also edit your columns for your variants so you can control even more on a variant level, such as the MSRP, the sale price, um, if you have different weight or width or height for your products. Um, all of that is there for your customization, which is really great. And then these are modifiers. And the difference between a modifier and a variant is that modifiers are something that the customer is able to further customize. So let's add a custom message modifier for my bar of soap. This allows my customer to add a message to their bar of soap. So it can be right, a text field for them. You can also make these a specific set of options like radio buttons or a drop down as well. But I'm just going to let my customers enter text themselves. Perfect, and let's create that. Alrighty, we have our modifier now. And now we are here at storefront. So this is where we can set our new product as a featured product, which I highly recommend doing for new products. This is going to have them appear front and center on your homepage. Um, so we can set my product featured. Um, search keywords are also super helpful. So when your customers are searching for products, maybe they're looking in a certain category such as sustainable products. This is where you can add that keyword so that this product will appear when they start searching for sustainable products. Sort order is also an awesome feature that BigCommerce offers so you can control what level your products are showing up in. Um, so if you want it to appear higher in the search, um, you can just add a low number such as negative one. So I'm gonna add that for my product. They also have template layout files. So as you start customizing your site more, this is where you will assign a template to a product if you want different products to show different things. And then they also have a box for warranty information. They have availability text. If your product is custom and it maybe takes a little while to ship, you can add that in here. And they have condition options, so you can select new, used, refurbished, and all of these are built in on BigCommerce, which is so awesome. Alrighty, now we're getting to custom fields. Um, custom fields are great if you wanted to add that sustainable keyword to your data set for your product. So I'm gonna add sustainable here, and I'm gonna say true. Um, and these data sets can then be used for search and for so many other things. Um, so custom fields are really great to add to your products. And I'm gonna pause here because we're about halfway through all of the options for products and make sure that you guys are enjoying and see if anyone has any questions, please drop them in the chat because I would love to help answer anything for you today. 
I'm seeing a few people messaging. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Hope everyone is enjoying. Alrighty. Awesome. Stephanie, thank you so much for your question. Can you create pre-order products? This is such a great question, Stephanie. And yes, you can create pre-order products. So we can actually hop back up to inventory. And um, there is an option for creating pre-order. Actually, I think it's under purchasability. There we go. All right, purchasability. This product can be purchased in my online store or this product is coming soon, but I want to take pre-orders. So you can select this and you can add the expected release date for your product here. Um, so let's say we want our pre-order product to release on January 6th. And then BigCommerce even has a built-in remove the pre-order status on this date. And this is such a great feature that BigCommerce has right out of the box for you. Um, and pre-orders is a great thing to do before you start right creating your product. See if you have interest from your customers. Awesome. Isabel, thank you so much. I see you have a question as well. How does BigCommerce decide what related products to show? Awesome, Isabel. I love that you were already thinking about this. Um, so related products here is defaulted to automatically show related products in my storefront. Um, and when this is selected, BigCommerce is going to show related products based off of the name first and then the description. So if you have products that have similar names, you know, maybe it's all t-shirts or it's all shoes, they're going to show up on the product page. But this can be extra customized. If you unselect it, you can actually select what related products you want to show. Um, so once you want to get a little more details, maybe I'm going to go into my back category and I want those products to show up. Um, so let's go back to our related products here. And now my fog linen towel is going to show up with my bar of soap because those make sense to buy together. Um, so you can either go custom or you can let the automatic um, big commerce related products show up for your products. Great question, Isabel. Awesome. And Patrick, thank you so much. Um, let's see, is there a way to automatically notify shoppers when products are back in stock? Such a great question, Patrick. Unfortunately, there is no out of the box notification system with BigCommerce, but BigCommerce has a ton of apps that you can add. So when your customers see that a product is out of stock, you can add like an email notification for them and then use an app such as Klaviyo to create that back in stock notification. And once we add this product, I can also go through some settings for that low inventory stock notification to yourself, um, which I think is really helpful and awesome that Big Commerce does have out of the box. Awesome. Those were great questions, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, now let's jump back into finishing off our product. So we had finished off right here on related products. Next, we're going to go into fulfillment. Um, so our weight is here already, but you can add width height, depth, if you know that is important for calculating your shipping costs. Um, you can also add shipping details, having a fixed shipping price, or you can make it free shipping for your customers. I'll go free shipping today. Um, we're back to purchaseability. Um, so I'm gonna set this back to being available on my online store, but now you know this is where you can come to add pre-orders. Um, you can also say that this product is not available online if you have it in store only, but you want it to be shown on your online store, right? It'll still show, it just can't be purchased online. Um, and you can also add minimum purchase quantities here or maximum purchase quantities here, um, which is a really awesome feature. BigCommerce even has gift wrapping options. You have customs information. If your product is being shipped from another country, you can manage what gets sent to the Border Patrol. You can change your SEO options and adding meta descriptions is super important. So this is where I might add sustainable bar of soap to help it appear in SEO, as well as open graph sharing. Um, which will use the same meta description from here and the same thumbnail image. Alrighty, and that is the end of our adding a product and all the customizations. So I'm going to save my bar of soap here and give it just a minute. And while we do that, I'm going to also show you guys the settings that I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to open that up in a new tab for us. 
So this is where you can adjust those settings for product inventory and what shoppers are going to see if a product is out of stock or if it's in stock or if it's low inventory. Um, so this is again a really awesome feature that Big Commerce has to offer. So when a product is out of stock, don't do anything, hide the product completely, hide the product but leave the page accessible. For this, I'm gonna not do anything, but I am going to change what happens when an option is out of stock. So this is where you can say, mark the option as out of stock so that your customers actually see that banner there. And then update stock levels. So when an order is successfully placed, drop that stock by one or wait until it is completed and shipped to change the stock. This is an important differentiation, you know, if you don't wanna have too many orders placed and then not have enough products to ship out. So I would keep that as when an order is successfully placed. And then automatically adjust stock levels when I refund or cancel an order. I'm gonna turn that one on as well. Stock level display, don't show the stock levels, only show the stock levels when stock is low or show them. I'm gonna say only show the stock levels when stock is low. So my customers will see only two left of this item and it might entice them to purchase. Um, and then here's where you can also show pre-order inventory. Um, so if it's running low on pre-order inventory, maybe you have that at a set amount, you can put that here. And you can also change the out of stock message here. Alrighty, so, and this is where email notifications are. Here we go. So if your low stock level is reached, you can have your email address here. So if it's hello at sunriseintegration.com, and then you will get that notification, stock is low, to make more and you can also use that same email for your out of stock is reached so you know you've officially hit zero all right i'm going to save those settings and let's go back to our product that has now been saved um, so we can view all of our products let's see should be saved and we're gonna make sure it is assigned to our storefront channel um, so that is the last step to make sure that all of your products are available. So it is an enabled product, but it is not on a channel yet. So this is where you want to assign it to your storefront. And you can manage channels. Channels are like point of sale is a channel, or if you have like an in-store option, or if you want to sell on Facebook or on Amazon, those kinds of things. Um, it's not popping up here. There we go, manage channels. All right, Sunrise Integration B2B, perfect. That's our storefront. All right, I'm gonna save that. And now when I go to my storefront, I'm going to refresh it and we should see my featured product bar of soap on the homepage. And there we have it. Our bar of soap is here. Let's take a quick peek at all of our customizations from today. We've got our SKU number here, sustainable true is here. And these are things that you can then customize on the storefront theme, which we will do another series on how to customize these templates. Um, and we've got our scent drop down here. So you can choose your variant, add your custom message. And that is how you add a product in BigCommerce. Awesome. Thank you guys all so much for coming today. Um, and thank you so much for asking such thoughtful questions. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any further questions as you're adding products to your big commerce store, please feel free to reach out to us here at Sunrise Integration. We are always happy to help. Um, and check back in for more of our big commerce series coming soon. Awesome. Thank you guys so much.